think I was talking about the, the biggest problem that we've got in world education, and that's that we there are 263 million children in the world who are presently not in school, and that the current model for education of a teacher standing up in front of 20 pupils isn't ever going to solve that. So I think we need to use technology in order to address and flex some of the lessons, the excellent lessons that happen in our schools so that people around the world can experience an HMC school education. We're doing an experiment at Jess in Dubai about uh, using virtual reality teaching. So we've, we've got two versions of the project running. One is that uses a virtual reality classroom that's a bit like being in a computer game. So each participant, uh, each pupil, each teacher has an avatar that is a bit like you do in a computer game. And the teacher can teach there. That class could be all around the world. The second model is to put a 360 camera into a lesson in, in a classroom and then stream that lesson. Um, at the moment we're doing it hardwired but it, it ultimately it will be done through uh, internet and therefore could go out around the world. And the thing about wearing a virtual reality headset is that you feel as if you're in the classroom. So when you turn your head to the left or to the right you actually uh, can see the people who are in the classroom with you. So it's an immersive experience. You feel as if you're there so that you build a relationship in that way and that's a sort of more economic model for providing an education to people. I mean HMC is you know has some of the very best schools in the world, has some of the best teachers in the world and we are able to you know, we are privileged to have uh, sort of you know the, the, the very best of premium education and, I, and if we could somehow lever that expertise and through technology such as video conferencing, teaching or, or, or online platforms, share those resources, we could, we could flex that uh, learning around the world and, and be part of the solution for educating the 263 million children who are around the world who currently aren't in education.